All right, everybody be cool. This is a resume tape. <sighs> My name is John Levine, standing next to my partner, Roy Foster. And if you're having a little trouble figuring out which one of us was the former Dolphin, you got some problems. Roy, let me be the first to say, happy Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought you'd forget. I'll tell you what, number 13, Ryan Schneider, he's the top-rated passer in Broward County. This team, the Colonels, they're ranked third in the state. I'll tell you, Roy, we're here on a Thursday night, which is not something we normally do, but tomorrow is the Jewish holiday Yom Kippur, and I know you couldn't make it, so... We switched to tonight. Jimmy Johnson has patented the three-year plan. First season, find out who's doing their job and who isn't. Second season, get rid of the guys who aren't doing their job and bring in guys who will. And the third season, make room for the Super Bowl trophy. With all the money being spent on the Marlins autographs, I just couldn't shell out that kind of cash. But I did find some ladies that would sign for free. Oh, uh, that's J-O-N. Okay. Because he's mad, bad. How or why, I don't give a f we won the game. He gets real hard and it gets his knock. I don't even want to hear about the negative stuff. Neither than me, Joe Green. I'm fed up to here with that shit. Up to here. Miami. Hey, remember this guy? <laughs> well, what about now? Brian, how you doing? I'm doing just fine. Good. How are you today? Say hello to the new Brian Cox, Bears linebacker and horse racing magnet. Brian Cox and horses? Sure, they make an odd couple, but he's not just a spectator. He's an owner and a passionate one at that. Right now, horses are my passion. You know, I really love it. If I had to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, come to the horse races, come over to see my horses work out, then those are the things that I do. This is Cox's second visit to Miami since being dealt to the Bears. He wasn't able to see his horse, named BK's Notebook, on the first trip because he had to play football. In fact, he was supposed to be there today, but because of the World Series, he was able to take the day off to watch a winner. I'm a Marlins fan, and they're going to win tonight, but just on the selfish side, I won the extra day to see my horse. Brian Cox started his career with the Miami Dolphins. Then he took off for the Windy City, but he came back to show this town that he's still a winner. And win he did. BK's notebook finished in first place by four lengths. But wait a minute. Check out the colors on the horse and the jockey. Aqua and white? Aren't those dolphins colors? George, come here, George. You see that? 51. No, so this is important to me, and it's beautiful, and, uh, you know, the dolphins gave me the opportunity, so they should have the colors. John Levine, 7 Sports. Time for 7 Video Sports. All season, the Marlins have been playing incredible baseball, but the Mets have changed all that in a New York minute. And today, they handed the Fish their third straight loss. To Shea Stadium, and I'd hate to be in the seat behind this lady. Phew. Top of the first, no score. Moises Alou drives one to deep center. Lance Johnson can't field it. He can't even find it. Edgar Renteria gets waved in, and it's 1-0 Florida. Moving to the top of the seventh, game tied at one. CJ doubles off the wall in center. It's a popular place. Jeff Conine's going to try and score from first. And Luis Lopez decides to show off his arm, but Conine with the hard slide. Marlins lead it 2-1. to one. Mets would tie it in the bottom of the inning though and we move to 10. Mets on the attack. Lopez to first. Conine comes home. Carl Everett, sit down. Take a closer look though. Bad call. But it stands and the game goes on. To the 12th, Carl Everett's the batter and he's still mad. Base hit to right. Alex Ochoa comes in to score in the Marlins. Limited to the All-Star break, losing 3-2 to two in extras. From the small ball to the even smaller ball, Tiger Woods came to the Western Open after taking a month off to relax. By his own admission, he was a couch potato, and it seems to have worked. There he is, Tiger Woods, that lazy bum. Woods on the 12th hole, he's got about 35 feet to the cup, and he's just trying to put it close. Well, you can't get much closer than that. That birdie puts him in at 11 under and in the lead. Then on the par 3, 14th. We've uh, sped this one up for your convenience. Wood gets the bounce, then the roll, and he says, hey, I'm just good. Tiger wins another tournament, and he can't be stopped. Well, with the summer here in South Florida, you can expect a few things. Heat, humidity, and Dolphins training camp. Rookies report on Tuesday. While the vets get a couple extra days off, we'll see them on Thursday. Unlike the mini camp in April, the guys will be wearing full pads and competing for jobs. Last season, the Finns finished 8-8, eight and eight, 
not up to everyone's expectations, but with camp still a few days away, Sean Wooden already sees the improvement. Uh, you can see the team unity this year. I mean, definitely. Last year I was a rookie, so I didn't get to see it.